I actually want to show you something, especially you, Lucas. <laughs> it's just to get your reaction on this. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but we just I just show you this. It's from Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every goalkeeper's dream. <laughs> oh, I, I've, been, I've been following him. Mean, uh, I, I like him a lot. I think he's going to have a good career ahead of him. So, Mads Hermansen, could he step in your and Rolnow's footsteps and go to the Bundesliga, maybe? I, I, the way he's been playing this season, I mean, I, I almost without a... Uh, ex ex uh, exception, I watch all the highlights uh, on Superliga DK and uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely, if not the best one, one of the best one in the, in the Superliga and uh, yeah, I mean, he has the whole whole world in front of him, I think. So, you follow uh, Brumby still, can you tell us a little bit about how much and how do you follow them? Yeah, mostly like, of course, I still follow uh, Brumby on every social uh, channel and uh, Superliga DK. I watch the highlights over there almost, like, like I said, every every weekend. Uh, and uh, yeah, also Bolt DK is one of the sites I still visit, so uh, it's almost on a daily basis. What about Same. you? Yeah. yeah, social media, and, and then I watch highlights as well. Uh, it still means a lot to me. The club uh, it was my home for five, year, four, four years, so so whenever I I have a chance to see see the their hi highlights and stuff, I, I'll do it. Yeah. How come, because I can hear that Brumby still means a lot to you both, why do you think that Brumby became under your skin? For me, yeah, it was my, my home for four years. Uh, my first daughter was not born here, but at the time I was here. So <laughs> we made her here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, at the time, yeah, now I've been in in uh, Norwich for, for longer but before that was the place I was longest longest and yeah I've made many many friends for life and uh, uh, it's a great club and I, I really felt felt good being here so so yeah it's hard to say why but uh, it's just feels like it's uh, yeah, my club yeah I mean I, w I wasn't here that long as Temu uh, I would have liked to stay longer but uh the chance to go to Bundesliga opened up pretty quickly and uh, all the two years I spent here was uh, the unity, the way people and the fans and the workers and everybody respects you, you are like a big family and uh, I enjoyed every, every minute of it and uh, also living in uh, one of the favorite cities for both of us, it's, it was a bonus of course as well. Mm. Uh, some of the fans uh, who knew that we were going to talk to you today, they have uh, been asking us if we could ask you some questions and of course we can. Um, some of them want to know what is both your and your best memory from your time in Bromby. Yeah, you won. Actually, uh, you won the cup. We won the cup. Yeah, I think that's the that's the best best memory for me. Obviously, this, how how my time here finished it was not not the best. Uh, uh, so it's it, that's probably one of my hardest moments in my football career. The, that the fact we didn't win the championship in the in the last uh, last season. So, uh, but winning cup, that was uh, we won won at least something, and uh, that's for sure for my favorite memory. Yeah, yeah we were I think fourth and third. Uh, the, the way we won the bronze back in I think it was in Randas, uh, and the bus drive uh, back home. I think it was a lot of celebration, a lot of uh, good uh, Danish beer. Uh, those kind of memories uh, are the best ones, and of of, of course every. Every derby win was uh, was a, was a was a celebration on its own, and uh, always just a lot of good memories. Hard to pick one. Yeah, can you both tell us about your best derby win? Best derby win. I think it was directly the first game I played for Brembe. Three two. Uh, uh, we won at home, and of course, uh, you didn't. I mean, you saw it on the TV, television before you played for Brembe uh, how it's going to be, but it was even. Well then it dreams the support and the, uh, around the stadium, the buzz and everything. It's uh, yeah. It's uh, I hope to play them one 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 day. Still, I will see what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, it's, I think with the, the time Sonica was here, we won them a couple times in that that season, the last season. I think was it Tipling who scored in like quite last in the at home. I think that uh, that's that's the best one for me. Yeah. But there were many in that season also with Mukta's goal. Ah, and yeah, uh, yeah. 
uh, there was some a good reason season. I remember Tipling scoring. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, there were many tight games against them, and it was always a special, special game. And some of the questions we also we also got a lot is that uh, are you planning to or hoping to go back to Bromby one day? Now you're 32 and you're 33 now. Yeah, we're getting older. Yeah. <laughs> If, if they still take us one day, we, 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 I mean, we are definitely open for it. I mean, like I said, we like uh, we like uh, to live here, and uh, it's close to Finland. And uh, yeah, but the way it's going, it's going pretty well for both of us. I still have a long contract. Yeah, Temu is free. I don't know. Uh, maybe they should call them. But uh, no, I mean, it, it, I wouldn't have definitely nothing against it. Yeah, same. I don't have anything against it, but I haven't really think about where I'm gonna go next, uh, or what's gonna happen to me after after this season. So it's hard to say, say. But yeah, like I enjoyed my time here, so so I'm not against it. But it's not something I've, I've been thinking thinking lately. Yeah. And you both have uh, made uh, great careers uh, outside Denmark since you left Bromby. How is Bromby a good step before going to one of the top five leagues? Uh, you know, since you both uh, had, had had big su- success after Bromby. Uh, I would say it did. My time in Brembe for sure did help me to to get to Premier League. Like before that, I would I was not even dreaming of playing in the Premier League. But after my time there, going to England and eventually to play in the Premier League, for sure I wouldn't have done it if I didn't come to Brembe. Uh, and, uh, and it did help me. And I, I think it's a good uh, good place to come. Uh, I was. I, not struggling, but I had a hard time in Celtic before coming here, so so it did help me in my career for sure. Yeah, I was actually here shorter than planned. It, as a keeper, it's uh, it's uh, you need almost uh, always a bit of luck to go uh, forward in your career. But uh, I wouldn't have had anything else that I would have played here longer. And but uh, Burnby always finds some good keepers. Uh, we had Frederick uh, Falke scored before me. Now Matt Hermansen is doing a really good job, and uh, also before that and. For keeper to withstand the pressure and uh, playing for the biggest team in Denmark, uh, that's uh, I think that it explains itself that it's a it's a good uh, stepping stone if uh, you want to go forward in your career. Mm. Uh, Timo, how did you how did you experience it when Bramby won the championship? Uh, was it a, a good feeling for you, or were you like because I talked to some of the other Pene and Larsen and they were like it should have been us. Like, yeah. So it was a mixed feeling for them. <laughs> yeah, of course we should have won it. Uh, the last season I was there, like I said, it was the probably hardest, hardest moment in my football career. And, uh, and but I was happy, happy for them. Uh, I remember being in the national team actually at the mm. time. We had a trip somewhere and we were watching, watching the wrestles. Of course we have Jesse Joronen who used to play for for Abse, the wrong side. Abse <laughs> Kor, so it was like a bit of back and forth life. Between us and uh, yeah, there was three three against one in Finland with the for Prembe. So I was really happy for them, but of course it should have been us in kind in kind uh, as well. And uh, but but I was happy happy for Prembe for sure. And how was it for you to watch Lucas? Yeah, I was also uh, in the in the energy energy level uh, watching as well, uh, even more. Uh, more intense uh, for me uh, on the sidelines. Uh, also, the cup win you had. I, I wasn't lucky enough to win anything with Brembo. I haven't experienced that, so that's only the only experience I'm actually lacking from my uh, two-year adventure here. Yeah. Mm. And now you're meeting Denmark on uh, Thursday. Is there some of your former teammates in the? Uh, Murkart. Yes. Yeah, I think Jan Reno is there yeah, as well. So. Is there, yeah. so yeah, they were already in uh, in the Euros when we played them. So. And yeah, there's actually quite many players I've been playing against as well in uh, in England. So yeah, it's but for sure it's nice to see uh, Nergo and uh, and Renault, uh, after a while. I've seen Nergo every now and then when we played them in England, but uh, I, he's been doing really really well as well uh, after after his time in Premier so. yeah. But it's the first time for you coming back to Parken since that day in in the Euros. Yes. How will that be? will it be special or? Do you think? I think it's in everybody's head a bit, but uh, yeah, we all know that Christian is unfortunately injured. Uh, yeah, the events of that day, I think they stay with us uh, until we finish the careers, and uh, yeah, it was something completely unexpected. Thank God everything went the way it went, and uh, yeah, we hope to uh, 
Yeah, yeah I mean, each Bremen, each Bremen fan, I think, usually hopes for a away win in Park, and so I think we <laughs> will take one more this time. <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I, what kind of game do you think it will be? Pretty, I like the, I like the one in the Euros. Yeah. I think Denmark is going to be the more dominant side, and we know our strengths. We are a tight and compact package who tries to counter attack, and uh, we had some. Quality players up front uh, who played uh, also in the. He knows the stadium, Temu, so I, I expect him to score tomorrow. <laughs> oh, uh, Thursday. Yeah, we know uh, Denmark is the favorite, of course. I think uh, they are the best best team in this group, so we we know it's a hard, hard task, but we, of course, we, we won some points as well uh, against them. And uh, yeah, we just need to, need to be prepared what's coming, and, and uh, like he said, they will most likely have have the ball more. Uh, we need to be be ready in uh, pole dance uh, of the of the pitch. And in the end, uh, to the Brumby fans watching this, of course, on a Brumby side, you have anything you want to say to them, Lucas? It's been eight years for you, <laughs> and, and uh, five years. Soon for five, you. yeah. Uh, well, we've had a blast. The my daily team in Brumby. Yeah, someone yeah, all the I hope that I can be say Brumby stadium at at Lille Villa. <laughs> can't, <laughs> I can't do that, but yeah, obviously, Brembo uh, will forever be my my heart. It's uh, my one of my favorite clubs, so so I hope all the best best for them. I know this year season hasn't been been uh, the best, but they are in the top six, and now it's uh, hopefully good good end of the season. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you, see you soon. I, I even. Eventually, I, I do want to come and watch some games in the in Brembo Stadium in the, in the future for sure. Do you still have the cap? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Best time. <laughs> Does he still use it? I think his father is using it. <laughs> He's using it more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you guys so much for meeting us. Yeah. Thank you.